disciples. My name is Lee Hall Moses, and I serve in the office of the General Minister and President. I send greetings from our General Minister, who is on sabbatical for the next couple of months. This week, many of us in the United States will pause for the Thanksgiving holiday. And as we do, I want you to know how grateful we in the OGMP are for all of you for the ministry you do, the ways you are serving your neighbors near and far, the ways you are caring for each other, the ways you are bearing witness to the limitless love of God we know through Jesus Christ. Advent begins this week too, right on the heels of Thanksgiving as it, as it often does, this season of waiting and watching and hoping. And as we enter Advent this year, I've been thinking about some words from the, the poet Jane Kenyon. Now, she was giving advice to writers, but I think this is good wisdom for people of faith, too. She says, be a good steward of your gifts, protect your time, feed your inner life, avoid too much noise, read good books, have good sentences in your ears. I love that last bit, read good books and have good sentences in your ears. I've been trying to do that lately with my first cup of coffee in the morning. I try to start the day with some good sentences, some good words. Sometimes it's a poem or a few pages of the novel I'm reading. Often I find myself turning to the Psalms, those ancient words that always remind me that throughout human history, people have turned to God in complicated times to lift up their fear and their hope, their grief, their anger, their gratitude. The Psalms are, are very good words. And there are so many good sentences, so many good words to keep in our ears as we walk through the Advent season. There's the visions of the prophets. There's Mary's Magnificat. There's the words of the angels that tell us not to be afraid. Personally, my favorite Advent words are from Zechariah, who, who promises that by the tender mercy of our God, the dawn from on high will break upon us and guide our feet into the way of peace. And then, of course, there is the Word, the Word who was with God, who is with God, who became flesh and lived among us, the Word we are waiting for, the Word who has already come. So, church, what words will be in your ears in this season of waiting and watching? I pray that they will be words of blessing and gratitude and hope.